Rebecca Front is teaming up with Hugh Laurie in the sci-fi comedy Avenue 5. Terrific American accent. Oh, phew, thank no, you very really much. No, really good. <laughs> How, uh, but that must be quite hard to sort of keep... Did you just surround yourself with Americans? Well, <laughs> most of the cast are American, yes. in fact. So actually, that was great. And it did mean that every now and then I would get a rewrite at short notice and I'd sort of go up to Susie Nakamura or somebody and just Talk. go, How do I say this quickly? <laughs> so, Talk yeah, it was really good. It's such a brilliant idea for a comedy. Quite a dark comedy, it has to be it's said. Very, well, it's Armando Iannucci. You know, his comedy is always dark. Indeed. But, yes, it is. It's, such, it's a kind of weirdly simple idea, actually, yeah. because all sitcoms or all great comedies are essentially quite claustrophobic so the idea of trapping people in on a space cruise is is a really sort of clever idea i think you know, that... it is i mean we had an astronaut on yesterday steve smith this astronaut oh, wow. he was talking about tourism in space and it's going to happen and here we see this and it's all going fine you know there they are going to be cruise around jupiter yeah. all happy days and then of course something goes terribly wrong and it's going to take them an awful long time to get home absolutely and that's when so, I mean, there's so many different directions it can go in. I think that's... that's. I mean, I, I personally am the sort of person who would never go on a normal cruise right. in a million years. Because to be stuck the, with people. The whole thought of, yeah. yeah, being stuck with people, you can't... Unless you're a very good swimmer, you can't get out. Indeed. And, of course, in space, you really can't get out. <laughs> so I find the whole idea of it sort of nightmarish mm. anyway, even if everything was going smoothly. But sure. the minute something goes slightly wrong, you suddenly realise that these people are trapped and very quickly they're going to start hating each other. But she's a really interesting character you play because she... I think is going to come really to the forefront. She's a leader. She's annoying, very but a, much. But a real, a real leader. A little annoying. Bit, well, a wee annoying. tiny, just a wee. I little. think she's a ma no, She's <laughs> really <laughs> annoying. <It's> very annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah. she's, yeah, she's somebody who. I mean, I, I feel like Karen really should have been running a, a multinational corporation you know what, um, rather than you know getting else. married and having three kids, which is essentially the same set of skills. Let's yes. be honest. So she's been raising three kids. You know, she's now gone off on this space cruise, and when things start to go wrong, Karen is one of the few people who thinks. OK, yep. I can now come into my own. Right. I know how to handle this and nobody else does. Mm. So she's supremely self-confident sure. and kind of terrifying. But then, of course, her even her confidence starts to get chipped as things yeah. unfold. Because it'll be interesting, they won't have enough supplies. What's going to happen? You know, people all get really annoyed with one another. One of the things that you, you liked about the character, though, was the wardrobe. Oh, The yes. cruise wear. Absolutely. I mean, look yes. at this, for goodness sake. Unbelievable. Not, I don't think that's the kind of thing you would wear over morning. <laughs> <laughs> or Not when... usually. I'm dressed down today. <laughs> Susie Harmon, who is our costume designer and, and her wardrobe team, absolutely stepped up to the yeah. plate. And we, we may perhaps have been sending each other pictures of uh, Chris Jenner, possibly. possibly. So there was a little bit of sort of, you know, yeah. reference going on but that was actually handmade for me and they just she, she had this vision she knew what she wanted and right. so I and I went in and there it was just hanging there looking unbelievable yeah you got to get that to for you know for future just for, to for wear. red carpet yeah, yeah, yeah for the NTAs that's what, that's what I'd be wearing you've on the worked red with Armando before on the thick yeah. of it as well and um, he has said that he couldn't do that show now yeah, because you know, everything is beyond we'll parody yeah so you couldn't, I think, you couldn't really do it now it's, it's a difficult I mean, time for so comedians because you think there's so much material but yeah. actually yeah. when something's not yeah. funny it's it's funny anyway it's difficult to take the mickey out of it yeah I mean we were we were on the thick of it we were looking at you know sort of the, the venal side of politics. Yeah. And, and then when you see the way things have unfolded, you just kind of think, I don't know where we'd go to satirise no. this, because you have to go further, and how much further could you possibly go? I don't know. That's the thing. You, you, it's impossible. But from that, we've seen you in things like Paul Dark, of course, yeah. where you were pretty horrible. I was a little bit violent, Paul yes, Dark. You, yes, you were. Didn't you, crack a smile. But you enjoy a costume drama? I do. Yeah. I just I always want to just play characters who are as far as possible from me. It's much more interesting. I mean, Nicola Murray is probably the closest to me, but now I've You're not like Nicola no, Murray. No, I'm, I, I hope I'm a bit nice. <laughs> and, um, but, yeah, I do, so the costume drama thing yeah. is wonderful because you just completely transform into somebody else without well, even course. trying. It's really lovely. So what about something? Because we're going to do another Downton movie. Yes, I they heard are. this. And yeah. I mean, I think every single actor in the United Kingdom has probably been in Downton. And you but haven't. not me. You should. No, I think maybe it was because I was pole darking it. I don't uh, know. But uh, yeah, mm, I know. There's a conflict there. <laughs> I, I feel like I could, you know, I could don don another costume. So, I what? Think. Where would you like to be, upstairs or downstairs? So you, you get nicer frocks upstairs. Let's be honest. You do. Um, but actually, I haven't really played many downstairs no. characters, and I feel, you know, that that's. You know, that I mean, I'm, be... I'm not particularly posh, so I think I could, I could no, go with either. definitely. Well, they're, they're, they're doing it right now, so who can say? <gasps> who can say? Now, look, with this, with this show, 
It wasn't filmed in outer space, obviously. It was around the corner. <laughs> it was. It was brilliant. How good is that? My first American TV thing, and it was shot it was in North London. I mean, I mean that's it was brilliant. kind of brilliant. Yeah, I have that's to say a, that. That's was really amazing great. when you've got when you've got that. That that works really well. Mm. Did you did you have to keep it secret from people? Were there think secret from one another almost? You well, actually, the scripts, the developments in the scripts were kept secret even from us. So there's right. there's a, a big reveal at the end, which obviously I won't tell you mm. in, in the final episode, which even we, the cast, didn't find out until we got the final scripts right. about three days before shooting. Um, so, yeah, they, they like to play their cards close mm. to their chest, which is quite exciting when you're doing it. It's a bit unnerving, but it yeah, is actually it's really cool. exciting. But that makes, it, that makes perfect sense. And Hugh Laurie, what a great guy. And oh, there's, he's and so lovely. If you watch the first episode, you've got to. I mean, you can, you can, you can download it at the moment anyway, so it's on the, on the player. And he starts with one thing. You think he's like this amazing captain and he's in control mm. and everything's all right, oh, and he so tooth. isn't. Yeah, and that tooth. is really funny. It is, it is. and he and the way he reveals the sort of the, these little cracks in his uh -huh. carapace are very, very clever. It's incredibly difficult to do what he does, um, but he just does it brilliantly. But he's kind of, he can do everything, can't mm. he, Hugh? You know, he plays brilliant piano, he sings, he's a phenomenally nice, decent man. He's just kind of the complete package. He reminds me of Michael wonderful. Palin. Yes, you know, that kind of national person. treasure kind of Yeah, but properly, yeah. you know, like yeah. really deserves it because they bandy that term around so much. But he's kind of like that. You feel better for being in yeah. some, with some, working with someone like Absolutely that. Absolutely true. No, he's, everybody loved him. He's, he's a really he's good a guy. Do you think there's going to be more of this? Because you said there's going to be, we don't know. I really hope there will because I think they've got so many fantastic ideas. So mm. I sincerely hope so. And also because it's the nicest cast on the, I was going to say on the planet, but of course, off the planet. <laughs> off the planet. It's planet. the nicest cast uh -huh. off the planet. Just a wonderful group of people. So I'm really Sweet. hoping we'll go again. Brilliant. I hope so. I oh, really well, enjoyed you. it. Thank you so much, Rebecca. And Lovely to Avenue see you. Avenue 5 is on Sky 1 tonight at 10 o'clock. But obviously, in these wonderful times, you can watch it whenever you like.